What's good guys, Prince Sports here, coming at you with another one. Bam, bam. Now, in today's league where just about any superstar could drop 50, 40, 60, 70, role players, all-stars, superstars, everybody scoring points, having career years. This is one of those seasons where offense is exploding. Literally, everybody is producing inflated numbers. The only thing actually special about some of these individual games is the fact that they get the W. So if you score 50 or 60 or 40 and you don't win, then it looks less oppressive. But other than that, um, you got to really look at the level of uh, difficulty, which isn't much, to uh, score points. And a lot of guys are dropping buckets like crazy. I mean, it's not really impressive at all, to be honest with you. Oh, let me go back this way. So now you got a bunch of guys dropping buckets. They're getting points. And Jason Tatum is the newest guy. He dropped, what, 51? Okay, he just dropped a 51 burger. Now, I'm not impressed by the 51 points because I'm mad to it. It's I'm numb to it because I see it already. Okay, it's not like it's new to me. Um, it's not like something I've never seen before. All right, but... He did get the W. But here's the funny part about it. People are saying Jason Tatum is better than Larry Bird because he surpassed Larry Bird in 50-point games. Russell Westbrook made history for most triple-doubles for a six-man. These stupid records mean absolutely nothing. Okay? Just because you surpass somebody in a record doesn't mean you're a better basketball player than them. That has never been the case. Okay? So... By the same age Jason Tatum is and Larry Bird was, Larry Bird already had um, rings to the game. He already was married to a championship. Jason Tatum, you're not even engaged yet, all right? You didn't even scratch the surface. You don't got no MVPs, no finals, MVP, none of that. Okay, you're not even on the same boat as Larry Bird. So it's kind of disrespectful to even compare you to Larry Bird. You could keep your inflated numbers and stuck, stick them up your ass because they mean absolutely jack shit when it comes to pertaining to being an all-time great or even surpassing an all-time great. So when other guys break records, a.k.a. when Kareem's record get broken, that doesn't mean that guy that's breaking the record is a better basketball player than him, all right? Vice versa, or in some cases. But, <clears throat> yeah, I just thought that was foolish that now all of a sudden – because he got more 50-point games as a Celtic. What does that even mean? It means absolutely nothing. It's just a pointless record. Not every record is valid. Not every record is important. Okay? Russell Westbrook making history last night, you know, with the most triple-doubles as a six-man. What, what am I going to do with that? How are you going to even use that in a, a, a basic debate to prove that somebody's better than somebody? It makes absolutely no sense. It goes nowhere. All right? The only thing matters at the end of the day is winning. Your stats could come second, okay? They're a good icing on the cake, but you got to win first. So all these players dropping all these points, now it's very easy for people to do. I'm not impressed with your points that you have in the game. I'm not impressed with your stat line. Just get the win because that's the only rare thing that you can actually do right now is get a W because scoring points is easy. Sports is out. Peace.